here is a video on how you can create this envelope animation in After Effects. I used this in one of my recent videos. Send stunning digital invitations via SMS, WhatsApp, email, even voice calls. So I'll be creating this using After Effects. First, let me create a composition. I'll call this our envelope animation. I'm using 30 frames per second. And now I'll click OK. I already have a solid background. I'll just add it here. Then I'll lock this layer. Then I'll add the reference image I'll be using. So I'll lock the layer. Select my rectangle tool. And then zoom in closely and draw the back of the envelope. So this is the back. I'll rename the layer and call this back. So I'll turn it off for now. The next I want to draw this inner part. I'll make sure this back layer is not selected before I draw the next one because I want them to be separated in different layers. So I'll click on this point. Click here to make a curve. I can always adjust the point. I'll click here and make a curve. And then click here. Down here, I'll hold down Shift so that I can draw a straight line. Click here. I'll click here. And then I'll close it off. So this is the second layer. So I'll call this front one i'll close it and for the third one i'll make sure no layer is selected using my pen tool i'll click zoom in closer click at this point click here and make a curve click here Create this curve. Click here. Make it a curve. Click here and then down here. And then I'll close it off. So this one I'll call it front two. I'll close it as well. Make sure no layer is selected. Then I'll draw the final one, which is the cover. I'll click here, click up here, then make a curve, click, make a curve. Then I'll zoom in closer. I'll click here, and then down here, drag it out to make a curve, click here. Click at this point and then I'll close it off. So I have my four main shapes. I'll rename this one and call it cover. So turning all of them on, I'll turn off the reference image. Now I have the colors I want to use for this envelope. I'll select the back. I want to use this color for the back. For the front, I want to make use of this color. And for the front too, I want to make use of a darker color. Then for the cover, I'm making use of this color as well. Now the cover will be divided into two later. The part that will act as the cover like, like this one when it closes. Next thing I'll do is to create a null layer. So under the layer new new null. So this one I'll rename it and call it envelope control. So I'll select all this envelope and parent them 
to the envelope control so this way i can use it to move all of them around if i want to use the envelope to animate or if i want to animate the invitation card itself so in this one i animated the invitation card dropping in in this one i did i animated the envelope coming in so whichever one you want to use the next thing I'll do is to create the animation, the closing animation. So select the cover, open the content, select the part. Let me make this animation 10 seconds. So come over to like 2 seconds and turn on the stopwatch for the part. Then move forward a bit, maybe like 1 second. And then double click on the keyframe, hold down the shift key, and then drag it down to this point. Now we have our closing animation. Come to the middle at the point where the animation is flat. At this point, you split this layer by holding down Ctrl Shift D. You can equally do it from here. So now this one will become cover 2, so which is the outer cover. So at this point, I will use the color picker and make it this color. So when it's open, it's like this. So when it's closed, it's like this. So that is the trick for the cover. Now let's add some drop shadow. So select the front two, come up to layer, layer style, drop shadow. So open up the drop shadow settings. I'll make this negative 90. So it will come up. So on this one, I'll make the size to be 20 and then i'll make the opacity to be 50. now i'll copy this entire layer style ctrl c and then come to the cover 2 which is the one we just splitted and paste now open up the cover 2 open the drop shadow and then the direction make it 90 and there we have it on this other side so close this up it's time to bring in our invitation card so i have an invite card here i'll add it and scale it down to the size that will enter the envelope like this open the position by pressing p then come to the first keyframe. Come to the first keyframe and turn on the position stopwatch. Then move forward a bit and then move your card up. So this way it will enter before it closes. But now the card is on top. So it's time to put it in between the envelope. So looking at this, this first cover will have to be at the back. So we have to drag it back on top of the back. So this is cover one. It will be together with the back. Your invites will have to be on top of this first cover so that when it drops, it will be behind. But then when it closes, the second cover will be on top. So that is how you can achieve placing the invite in between the envelope. So depending on how you want to do your own animation, you can decide to leave the card in place and then animate this envelope itself to enter the card. So it all depends on your preference. Now, one more thing, we want to add some design this flower design so i'll add it here 
and scale it down scale it down a bit use track mark to add it to front two because i want it to appear only on this front two so on my track mat i'll drag the pick whip to front two now the shape is turned off i'll turn it back on what i'll do is also to parent it to front two so that it will move along with the entire card now i'll select the blend mode and make it screen and make the opacity to be 50 percent so this is our card animation so if you now want to animate the entire card after it has closed so you have to create another null layer so we'll create a new null layer call this one move all i'll change the color to be green i'll parent the invite to this move all and then parent this first null layer to it as well so that if i want to after the animation i can decide to move the entire envelope together so that is how you can create this envelope animation then for this animation to make it smooth i'll make it easy ease f9 to make the animation smoother so this is how you can create your envelope animation